So even though we have massive political, social, conflict-related, religious conflicts and challenges around the world, financial, economic challenges, which of course are, are huge, um, they are you know, still entirely secondary and dependent on having a stable planet, a stable home to live on. If we continue as business as usual, even a conservative assessment concludes that then we are on an average pathway towards four degrees Celsius warming. By the end of this century, we would have sea levels you know, irreversibly moving beyond one meter of height. We would have um, new kinds of pandemics, heat waves, disruptions in terms of shocks like droughts and floods. Unless we have a good stable planet, everything else will not be achievable anyway. That's, that's what we've come to. We have now become a global force of change. Nothing hinders us to be prosperous, nothing hinders us to grow, nothing hinders us to have very, very, very good lives. But we need to kind of stay within the perimeters of a safe operating space. We still tend to put sustainability here and economy here. And we still have uh, an obsolete, erroneous logic that these are somehow contradictory, that it is a cost to be sustainable, which could threaten the economy. And in situations of uh, you know, unemployment and, and weak economic performance, we tend to put aside sustainability. Nothing can be more wrong. Everything, everywhere comes from nature. A car, a computer, a house, our food, everything depends on what is delivered from the planet. You know, these things take time, so we cannot wait. We cannot wait until we have a new generation of economists who understand sustainability. That will take us way into very, very dangerous terrain. So we must fast track action. And the only way to fast track action is to work with the obsolete you know, engine we have, with the obsolete institutions we have. Fundamentally, I think you're starting to see the grand majority seeing that sustainability is a vehicle for success. It's not an impediment to success. The great majority wants change, trust science, and are willing to move faster. So I think one should move with the, with the coalitions of the willing and show by doing that this is actually something that benefits business, it gives better profit, it gives better reputation, and it's even more attractive. You know, so you simply, we've tended for too long to spend time on those who resist change.